Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's the big news this week. Okay, so as you know, we've been talking about jailbreakme.com for a couple weeks now. In case you missed it, jailbreakme.com is a super fast and super easy way to jailbreak your iOS devices. Now this latest release is big for a couple of reasons. First, this method of jailbreaking has been out of commission for a little while and uh, everybody's happy to see it come back. And second, this is the first jailbreak compatible with the iPad 2. To use this method to jailbreak your device, all you have to do is go to jailbreakme.com, click a button, and let it download. It's really that simple. It cuts out all of the errors and problems that arise when you try to use a software on your computer by doing all the work right on your phone, which is great. Now this week, Matt did a video showing you exactly how to do this on an iPad 2, and it gives you a little information about exactly which iOS builds is, this is compatible with, and you know, how you can expect it to run on your device, and all that fun stuff. So definitely head over to todaysiphone.com or click the link in the description below to view Matt's post to see exactly how to use jailbreakme.com to jailbreak your device. Now that being said, this method of jailbreaking is so easy because the developer behind it, a guy known on the internet as Comex, is exploiting a PDF hole in the iOS software. And uh, it, it's a pretty big security flaw because it not only allows you, know, you to jailbreak your device, but it allows any hacker to get into your device that way and you might not even know that they're doing it. So it's only natural that Apple wants to plug up that hole and that's exactly what they did with iOS 4.3.4. This iOS update was released on the 15th and it basically doesn't do anything except plug the hole that jailbreakme.com uses. Honestly, this is not surprising at all. Everybody knew that it was only a matter of time before Apple released an update to block jailbreakme.com. So if you're looking to jailbreak your device and you haven't already done so, I would hold off on updating to iOS 4.3.4 or if you're on Verizon, iOS 4.2.9. If you do decide to hold back on the update and use jailbreakme.com instead, there is a tweak available in Cydia to block the security hole after you've jailbroken. So, you know, you're not really vulnerable to anything after you've hacked your device. But if you're not into jailbreaking, you can go ahead and plug your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch into iTunes and update to iOS 4.3.4. You won't really notice any differences at all, but rest assured your device will be more secure. All right, moving right along, the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4S or whatever you want to call it is probably one of the most talked about and anticipated devices since, well, since the iPhone 4. And uh, as such, there are a great number of concepts and leaked images out there to kind of give you a sense of what the iPhone 5 will look like when it does come out. Now the guys over at T3 assembled some of the best iPhone 5 concepts out there and I gotta say a lot of these look really good. I bet that whatever the next iPhone is, it's gonna be very similar to a lot of these concepts. So it's definitely worth taking a look at them. The link to the post on today's iPhone.com is of course in the description below. So take a look, peruse the images, and let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Or if none of the ones in the gallery really catch your eye, let me know what you would love to see for the next iPhone. Alright, and finally, for all you developers out there running a beta of iOS 5, Beta 3 was released this week and is now available to download. As far as changes and new features go, there really aren't that many to report. It definitely seems less buggy and faster and getting closer and closer to a final release of the software, which is great. And you'll notice that in the accessibilities menu, there's a new option for something called assistive touch. This basically puts a little shortcut right on your screen and if you click it, it brings up a bunch of different menus to do things that are normally controlled by buttons on the iPad. You can lock or unlock your screen rotation, you can change the volume, mute the device, uh, you can lock or unlock the screen, and there's also some options for custom gestures and a couple other things. I don't really like how they've implemented this because it's basically like they took an extra icon and just shoved it on the screen, and a lot of times your placement, it can cover up an, an actual icon, which is, you know, not that great. But it's a beta, and uh, it's definitely interesting to see that they're doing this because it lends credence to rumors regarding iOS devices without any buttons at all. With assistive touch enabled, there's really no need to touch the home or the lock button at all, so it's very possible that in the future we could see just a buttonless device with assistive touch. Personally, I think iOS devices need the home and lock button. I, no buttons is just too much, it's relying too much on the software. If your screen cracks or if your, your phone is frozen and there's no buttons to reset the device or, or lock the screen or do anything, then, you know, you're screwed. Uh, what's your opinion on this? Would you like a device with no home button and just on-screen gestures and buttons to control everything? Or do you agree with me and think that a buttonless iPhone or iPad is a bad idea? The comment section is below. Write stuff in it. 
Okay, well that's all the big news for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, the links to all of these stories I talk about in this video are in the description down below. If you want to connect with me a little bit more, talk about iOS 5, iPhone 5, or really anything, yeah, feel free to do so on Twitter. I try to reply to everybody that tweets me, so if you have something to say, the best place to do it is there. Oh, and don't forget, for more news, views, and reviews, definitely check out todaysiphone.com.